here, here's the <laughs> truth of the, the show. Paying people to hang out with me like some stupid rich kid, you know, who's like they hired Van Halen to play at their birthday party. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. And uh, <laughs> and then all about just getting guitar endorsement deals. Nice. Those are the two real reasons. So you're I'm having doing a pretty show. sweet life right now. Absolutely, yeah. I would have done the same thing. Clock, of course, the fictitious band that is the stars of Metalocalypse, a show on Adult Swim. Um, let's just start off with how did you come up with the idea to uh, to make this metal band? Me and Tommy, I guess we're just fans of metal, and uh, and we needed jobs. And we liked <laughs> cartoons, and it all kind of fell together. We were desperate, and that's what happens when people are desperate. They start making TV shows. This one's called Mermaid. It's about mermaid murder. I would have loved to have been there that day where you're like, guys, guys, I got it. Right. This is what we're going to do. We're going to make this death metal band. They're going right. to travel around in a Viking ship, and they're gonna, there's going to be a lot of death yes. and, and dying yes. and, you know, and, and metal. Right. That's pretty much exactly what the pitch was. I, verbatim, what I said to the head of Adult Swim was, I go, I think I've got a show idea. It's about a death metal band, or I don't know if it's, I don't know what genre yet. I'm not sure. But uh, there's going to be a lot of murder, and I'm not terribly interested in having anyone understand anything that any of these people say. And uh, They're like, sold! And uh, honestly, We're in. he goes, the guy from uh, Adult Swim said, you know, the green light. Hi. Hi. Guess what? You are a G MILF. That is a grandmother that I would like to. <laughs> You've had so many uh, guest voices from bands that you were like a fan of, yeah, so that absolutely. must be pretty cool. Yeah, so I mean, we uh, guys I've been a fan of for a long time have been on the show, uh, just doing, just acting, just being funny and stuff, like uh, guys from Cannibal Corpse, uh, King Diamond, guys from Metallica, tons of other guys, uh, and, and ladies. Angela Gasell from Arch Enemies on the new season, and... Uh, Bunch of goofballs. Exodus too, right? Exodus, yeah. They're uh, they're they're all you know they all have really good sense of humor. They're all funny people. So so uh, they're into it. And not only uh, a band uh, on this show, but now a touring band. There's a de- there was a, some some dates that Death Clock did last year, like some college dates, and it worked out so well that now there's going to be a full fledged tour. Death Clock, Chimera, and Soylent Green, a great lineup. Yeah. And yeah. so, like, what, I mean, did you have any idea that that tour last year was going to do so well? And did you, were you hoping that you were going to be able to do another tour like this? The first tour, it was like a college tour, and it was kind of a tryout tour. And uh, I went out with some really great musicians, um, Gene Hoagland, who... Amazing drummer. Outstanding. Uh, also played drums on the Death Clock record. And uh, a couple of just outstanding musicians also, Mike Keneally, who played with Frank Zappa and Steve Vai and Brian Beller, uh, who went to the same music school as I did. I talked to a lot of people and they gave me money so I can animate this whole live tour. Yeah, explain like what the actual live show is about, because a lot of people who haven't seen it are like, what is it? Is there like an actual band playing? Is there cartoons right. behind you? Right. I made the vow a long time ago not to embarrass the audience by trying to dress up as any of the <laughs> cartoon characters. And it, was, it just would just be em- just embarrassing catastrophe. What I wanted to do was do like you know kind of like what the gorillas did but make it you know comedy and make there be more murder and i wanted it to feel like a big stupid disneyland ride but again with murder and comedy and so that's that's kind of like or one of those universal studios kinds of rides where they tell you kind of a story and you're involved in it and the whole audience is watching you know just enough story to kind of hang your hat on and then a lot of like little comic moments and then just uh you know us playing live to this. So it's basically a big screen. We're playing in front of it, but we're kind of, you can't really see us. We're kind of like a pit orchestra if there was like a ballet going on. You know, like a, uh, you know, we're not, it's not about us or what we look like or anything. It's about the show that's above us. And uh, it all matches up really nicely. And it's one whole kind of unified thing. I'm fat! I'm the fat one! Well, I'm starting to get the hungries. You see in the cartoon is a lot of the fans of Death Clock actually get like you know they die. Yes, they all die. We're, no one's going to be killed in our shows. Just just I'll make a point to say that now. If you're going to die, it's going to have nothing to do with us. How much goes into doing what you do? Because you have a, a you know big part in the behind the scenes, a lot of the voices yeah. and all of the music. Yes. In the show. Yeah, and the writing. 
and all that stuff too. And then you know, just sitting behind an editing bay, I, I'll paint the most boring picture of, of what the show is. <laughs> which you know, this exciting show where there's murder and, and death metal is about a bunch of you know geeks sitting behind an editing booth going, oh, no, make it one frame shorter. <sighs> <laughs> Here we go again. Uh, Death Clock, season two, yes, it's yes. currently in effect. Um, what can you tell us about any kind of, uh, I don't, I don't want to blow any you know, endings or anything, but you know, the Death Clock's always out there and getting into trouble, beating each other up, causing trouble, fans dying. I mean, what, can you give away anything about this, uh, the rest of these episodes for season two? Um, well, uh, let's see. Some of the cool things to look look out for this season is we, uh, you know, the show's a half half hour, which is an Adult Swim kind of staple, where they they don't make them that long. Uh, we d we decided to do a kind of stretch out the show and see how much longer we could make it. So we did a couple episodes that are a half hour long, which is a lot more fun. Just more gags, more music. When you say half half hour, you mean fifteen minutes. I mean fifteen minutes. <laughs>